Okay, so here is Odessa's portfolio. Um, and she's done a nice job. So let's take a look at her written evidence. So Odessa, please identify the questions or inquiry that guided your sustained investigation. 600 characters. You see, it's not very long. Odessa has addressed this in a little different way. Instead of a paragraph form, it's more like bullet points. How can I represent connectivity through patterns and fabric? So that's a question. Great. What is the best way to create the concept of individual personality into a visual? What is a visually pleasing way to incorporate varying fabrics and paint into a cohesive and flattering piece? How would I display the convolution of a bittersweet sweet relation with fabric and painting combined? Piece one. Okay, so she's referencing a piece there. And how can I show the complexities and struggles of self-love through fabric? Good. All right, now let's go down a little bit. Describe how your sustained investigation shows evidence of practice, experimentation, and revision guided by your questions or inquiry. My sustained investigation represents the impact and connectivity that can be illustrated through fabric. The weft and warp speaks for the bond we carry through relationships. Works 1, 6, 8, and 9 represent bonds with family, friends, and child and pets. The clashing fabrics create the complexities of an individual and differing personalities as they express to others. Every piece has fabrics that would commonly not be paired together. However, this was intentional. In pieces 2, 3, 10, 11, 14, and 15, I focused on this idea of the individual using fabrics that created their persona in my own eyes. Okay, so in terms of answering the question, there's a lot there about the relationships and what she's trying to do in the pieces, but maybe we could have spent a little bit more time talking about practice, experimentation, and revision. Um, she sort of told us what the pieces were about, but maybe she didn't tell us how she had to like change things along the way. So that's one area where maybe we could have addressed the question a little bit better. So let's look at the images themselves. And the images are really quite striking. Okay, so here's one of these ones about family, family pets, beautiful. And she actually collaged fabric around her painted subject matter. She did a lot of painting of friends. This is actually a three-dimensional piece. It would be nice to see a detail of that so that when we're looking at it, we could see that this was three-dimensional. It might be a little hard to tell from that photograph. This is one of the last ones that she created, and I think the color is really wonderful. Here's another example of where just a little photo editing could have like made this even better. Um, notice how this side of the photograph is a little bit darker than this side, meaning that the shadow got in front of it while she was taking the picture. We don't, uh, it's not going to like, kill the score, but it could be a little bit more professional on there. Now, the piece itself is fantastic, and she's a wonderful artist. Now we have some of these things where she's like showing us like a collection of fabrics, which is really kind of interesting just by itself. This one is kind of a close up of a person. Here's some family or um, friend imagery, beautifully painted. And then we got all these like wonderful, you know, patterns going on behind it. So on and on the, the this goes, showing us some really interesting combinations of materials. And I think she's going to score really high um, because of how strong the pieces themselves are. I think they're really fun, really personal, that sort of thing. So more combinations. These almost look like quilts, which I, I find really interesting. Here she's breaking it up into stripes. Nice. That's it. Okay. Let's look at the selected works. See which were her five favorites and maybe a little bit about what she said about them. Ah, so her chiaroscuro drawing, this one, which went in, I remember. One of that last one. This is a sketch. She started off dealing with fabric on here. Um, 
exploring the beauty of fabric, the way it lays and their intricate complexities, the true complex personality that can show through when quality time is introduced. Sketch out the picture, paint the base layer, paint in the details, adding shading, glue down, cut fabric. Freehand sketch of the picture, adding shading to the folds to make it pop with red marker. And this was her skeleton drawing. So she didn't use as much from her sustained investigation as some people have. A um, lot of nice work in there. Take one last look at this one. Nice example of her drawing skill. So good job, Odessa.